Hey guys, welcome to Retro Gamer. Today I'm going to show you my collectible slash merchandise that I have on my gaming shelf. So I'm going to start off with an Atari mug. Pong. Pong mug. I've had this for a good couple of years. Obviously I haven't used them so it's pretty good. It's still in the nick. The next one I'm going to show you is an Atari mug and that's Asteroid. Also it's some appearance starting to Chip off, but also they done by Glaze. He did the handhelds. The next one I'm going to show you is a Street Fighter Pixel Pals Chun Li light. Was it 30th anniversary? Pretty decent at the light. So, no batteries in it at the minute, but once I've got batteries in it, I'll probably show you another video of it, a close up. So, yeah, if you like Street Fighter games, then this is definitely one to like. Up to your collection. The next one I'm going to show you is done by Paladon, and that is the Sony PlayStation Watch. It's a pretty decent watch. Right, that like stuff like this, then this is definitely one to add to your collection as well. It's pretty decent, and so there's the back of it. I'm just uh, show you closer if you can see it. Yeah, it's a pretty decent watch. Uh, into this sort of thing, isn't it? I like to pension. Another watch here as well that I've had for a couple of years, and that's a Nintendo Game Boy watch, but sadly the batteries are dead in it. So it just needs a new battery. But once I also get a new battery, then I'll probably do another video and show you how it works. So yeah, if you like your Game Boy sort of thing, then that's definitely one to add to your pension. Next thing I'm going to show you is a present that I got for Christmas and that's PlayStation play cards and it's in a like, PlayStation 1 tin. There's the back of the PlayStation and I'll show you the inside. The PlayStation cards, you got like your different, different like, there you go, do you see that? It's a pretty decent little deck. This next thing I'm going to show you is these that I've shown you in my previous video on these me NES coasters. Look at the Nintendo NES cartridges. There's the front of the box, the back of the box, and I'll softly open up and show you what's inside. So we'll start off with Super Mario Bros. 3 coaster. And there's the back. Looks like an NES cartridge, pretty decent. And then obviously you've got Super Mario Bros. 2. And there's the back of it. And then we've got Super Mario Bros. coaster. Done by Paladon as well. Pretty decent company, you do like your gaming merchandise. Next one is another one, and that's Donkey Kong coaster. And there's the back of it. Next one I'm going to show you is one of my good games that I had on NES and that was Duck Hunt, which used the light gun. That's another coaster, there's the back of it. And then the other coaster I'm going to show you is Legend of Zelda. Pretty decent. There's the back of it. The next last thing I'm going to show you is uh, Metroid coaster. Mm. Back the back of it, and the last one I'm going to show you is Excite Bike Coaster. If you like your sort of merchandise like this, then this is definitely pick it up and add to your collection. That's with me, I'm going to keep my stuff in box. Next thing I'm going to show you is another decent thing that I bought a while ago, and that's the uh, Pac Man Maze Save Money Box. It's like a puzzle, you have to solve the puzzle this way you can take your money out. Let's see the top. There's the back. Pretty decent little uh, money box. And then, obviously, one of my other favourites, and it's a classic, and that's obviously done by Paladon again, and that's the Nintendo Game Boy money box. It's got a holographic sticker on it, 
that moves Mario when you move it that way. And there, uh, also there's the back. I'll give you a quick look. <laughs> a quick look of what it looks like out of the box. There's that. There's the front. Uh, so there's the back. Pretty decent. And then I'll open it inside. Pretty see, decent. The money box. So if you like game, if you like your old me Game Boy collectibles, then definitely one. And the next one I'm going to show you is the Game Boy alarm clock. So I'll flip back to the next thing to see how it, oh, it works, and that it actually plays the Super Mario theme as well as the alarm. It's pretty decent, and I'll just show you the back. And I'll just quickly check it out of the box and show you what's inside it. Show you what it looks like. And there we go. There's a Nintendo Game Boy alarm clock. At the back, and that's also you can see it. I'll just press this button, and it lights up. It's a pretty decent little get, uh, alarm clock. But also, you can take these little legs off as well, so you can obviously just have it stood up as it is, or with legs. It's a pretty decent purchase. I purchased it uh, a couple well, last year actually. It's a pretty decent uh, alarm clock. Next one, I'm going to show you is also it's a push go out of pushies, and that's. Super Mario, pretty like a big like that size, pretty decent. The Mario plush got this off Amazon last year as well. It's pretty decent. If you like your plushies like that, then let's move on. And these ones that I've when I recently started collecting, and these are the um, stubbins, like plushies from like PlayStation characters and that do all sorts. And that's obviously Atreus from God of War. Pretty decent little plush. And also, I kept the label on it because it's a picture of PlayStation product as well. So, that's definitely. If you like these sort of things, then definitely start collecting them because obviously I've just started collecting them. Next one is another PlayStation official one, and that's Alloy from Horizon Zero Dawn. Plush. Pretty little decent plush. That's the label there for PlayStation. Pretty decent. Has it really detailed as well, pretty decent detail. Next one I'm going to show you is another PlayStation official product, and that's Nathan Drake from Uncharted. Plushie. Pretty decent. There's the official seal. Pretty decent. If you like these, if you like these, then definitely add to your collection. And last one, well, what? Next one I'm going to show you is The Hunter from Bloodborne. Pretty decent. Also, this comes off and you can switch it with that. Pretty decent little de also detail again. Really, really good details. And next one I'm going to show you is Doom Guy from Doom. I got this uh, last year as well. And there's the tag. Pretty decent. Hello, details on the back of him. Right, back again. Obviously. These are really good to add to your collection if you're a big gamer like me. And the next last the next one I'm gonna show you is Street Fighter Ryu Flush. Stubbins. Pretty decent. I want detailed, highly detailed again. The back of him. Pretty decent. The next one I'm gonna show you is another Street Fighter Stubbins and that's Jun Lee. Pretty decent. There's the tag about these sort of things and definitely yeah one to two collection the last one I'm going to show you I've had for a good few years and that's a key ring and that's Clank from Ratchet and Clank yeah, that's a key ring plush that I've had for a few years so I'm going to try and get some more of this sort of thing from my gaming shelf if you that is sort of collectible stuff then definitely one to to your collection and also before I go I'd like to say give a shout out to X Grim Energy Guards, Yorkshire Lad YouTube, 
UK Crown Gaming and Midnight Zombie Gaming. So, obviously, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.